there, everyone. Welcome back to Ladder. We're, we're jumping right into it today. Um, oh, wow. This is a QR team with a Whimsicott, which I hate. Whimsicott is a pain in the butt, and I don't feel like dealing with it. And this right here, Taiki here, is a very interesting team. This Kangaskhan. This is, so, besides Whimsicott, this is like your your big 6-5, whatever. Where you got the Kangaskhan, Zapdos, Landorus, Tapu Fini, Heatran. The only way this would be more standard is if that Whimsicott was like a Cresselia or something like that. And if there was a Moongus on it. But I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. We're going to get wrecked, and that's perfectly fine. But what we are going to do is we're going to bring in that, that Cresselia. We're probably going to have to set up Trick Room on this one. We could go Trick Room. We could also just do this. We could also bring our Toga Kiss, which is, a, which is, you know, it's a thing. Toga Kiss plus Cephalon actually sounds kind of nice. It it does. Uh, I think I'll bring Gastrodon. I need something for the Heatran. Tarantar could be good here. Extra Joe could be good. Uh, I think it's gonna be Excadrill. That gives me a switch in for like a Zapdos Z move. Just Snow Bueno. Honestly, my opponent, if my opponent wanted to win this game, what they do is leave their Scarf Landorus and their Zapdos and just Earthquake Thunderbolt me until everything on my team is gone. That's a fun strategy. That's interactive. <laughs> I love Zapdos though, and I, I, I want to bring it. I just, I don't have one. <laughs> Kangaskhan Tapu Fini. Okay. Here come the Kangaskhan. Here come the Kangaskhan. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna be so sad. I was so happy to not have Mega Kangaskhan. And even though it's been nerfed, it's still annoying. Okay, so. I am gonna Tailwind. There's no reason for me to not Tailwind. Um, and normally I wouldn't be worried about Bocephalon here. But it could be Scrappy Kangaskhan. And a, and a fake out Muddy Water would not be good. So if my opponent here is going to feel pressure to go after Blacephalon, I could get a free Tailwind. My Togekiss is bulky enough, I should be able to deal with stuff. And now, my Togekiss has safety goggles on it, because I was expecting Top of Fanny to be a problem. So one of the things I wanted to be able to do was, was, was redirect spores and stuff uh, in a Togekiss. But, you know, a even if even in Misty Terrain like this, Togekiss is flying type, so it can be put to sleep. But not for that safety goggles, and also it kind of it, it, it kind of worked with the the sandstorm thing I have going on. But it's just not good. Don't use it. I'd rather have a wiki berry or something. Fake out. Okay. What's moonblast into? Okay. Free damage. What? <sighs> so many critical hits. And here's the problem now. Here's why now we're in trouble. Um, because I needed Togekiss to redirect the Sucker Punches that are about to come in. That's, that, that's what that was for. Alright, Landers is going to come in for whatever. Let's, let's just, you know what? Let's just get a KO while we can. Let's just blow up the, let's blow up the Kangaskhan. Blow up. Yeah, and that's exactly why... Because we're not going to survive this. No. And that's why we needed the, the follow me. But our Togekiss got crit. And that's that's clearly a Specs Finny. He's going to do over half. Yeah, it's a Specs Finny. I, I know a few things here, people. Yeah, so the g game's over now. Because the thing is, Blacephalon's like the big damage output on our team. And when we lose our protection... It's no bueno. It's no bueno. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and. There's. There's no point. This is. This has been fun. <laughs> so let's see. Next. Uh, next battle, we'll try and do better. I guess you know what. That was my mistake for not just double protecting. I suppose. Because otherwise, next turn we could. We could have just follow me and. Um. Z move the Kangaskhan, so that's my fault. But I was thinking, like, I guess it was what, a couple episodes ago, we got 
I, see, I expect to see Scrappy Kangaskhan. Now, in 2016, when there was just like every single team at a Kangaskhan, more so than the other two years, you know, you saw a lot of inner focus Kangaskhan because everything was built around setting up either your Trick Room or your Xerneas or whatever. But every year before that, it was like the Scrappy Kangaskhan. So that's what I would expect to see, but that's not what happened. And now we are in the dreaded 1400s, which means we're gonna be we're gonna be uh, messing around here for a while, having a good time in the 1400s. It's always fun. It's always fun. Love it. Love it. So excited. So excited. Man. Well, anyways, that was a little bit embarrassing. But that's okay. So we got D E D C F D E D D C F A. I did Kifa from Alberta. Ooh. So besides the Landers, this is a lot of 2017 stuff. That could, that could be and probably is Mega Metagross. I don't have a good answer for Porygon. <laughs> everything on my team sucks. Is everything on my team is garbage. <laughs> um. Why do I have safety goggles toe? Because that, that was not a good idea. Oh, God. I think, is Cresselia a good idea or a bad idea? It's probably a bad idea. Extra drill's probably better. I kind of like Tyranitar as well. I don't know. Cresselia is okay. Uh, the, the, the Steel type move onto the the Island Guardians will be nice. Why am I? Why do I look like I'm about to take a collect call on an old headset? Hello, this is your operator. How may I direct your call? Does anybody understand that reference, or am I showing my age right now? All right, all right, Dead Kafa. Let's see what you got. Dude, Kafa. Porygon 2, top of blue. This is okay. This is okay. That's a little bit interesting that, you know, they, 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 cut, they cut the your timer amount in half. Download to attack. Okay, cool. Uh, they cut it in half to five minutes. So that's your starting time, and it's already in the red. That's so strange. Also, yeah, that's, that's so fast. I wonder if this knocks out the Porygon. Possibly. Who knows? Let's find out. Is this the best move? Probably not. Follow me, probably be better. But we shall find out. I, ex I expect this to do over half. If, if this plus Air Slash knocks out, that would be just swell. Just swell. But this this has got to be one of the strongest Z moves in the game right here. Like, it's so strong. It's, I mean, it's 200 base power off of Blast Sapphire. That does so much damage. Not gonna be enough. It, no, it's gonna say it's not. Swords Dance Bullet. And then is that a Trick Room? That was cute. Nice little flinch. Nice little flinch. Okay. So now here's the fun part. We gonna kill everything on the field! I am still impressed by the amount of damage that, that did. But yeah, everything gonna die. Because my opponent has nothing to switch into this. What are you gonna switch into this? <laughs> okay. You better be protecting that Bulu. Better be protecting that Bulu. Okay, yeah. That's nice. So this is gonna do a lot of damage. I don't know how much damage is gonna do to the Celesteela. Boom! Oh my god. That is so much damage. And, but we get grass terrain, so that's nice. So it went down to 64. So you saw 64 times 2 is 128. Our HP is 129. So it does, in fact, round down. It does, in fact, round down. I honestly, I think Air Slash will just knock out the top of Bulu. I wonder, does Mind Blow knock out Togekiss? I don't know. 
I don't care. We're doing it. You know why we're doing it? Because we can. We have grassy terrain. Oh. Oh. -ho. That's not good. That means we're... That means we're taking damage. <laughs> we're hurting our own toe kiss for nothing. Ooh. I forgot that I forgot that was a move. That was over half to our toe kiss. So we need air slash to connect and do a lot of damage. Oh man. Oh the flinches! <laughs> Unintended consequences. Love it. But yeah, I mean now basically we we're we're just gonna air slash and shadow ball. And because we're faster, not a lot my opponent can do about it. And then once we get rid of the Celesteela, yeah, it's pretty much it's over. So now the the Shadow Ball and Celesteela is pretty much guaranteed because it's just wide guarded, so if it tries to protect, then uh, it's not gonna be able to. Well, I mean it can, but the thing is that it would be like it's like the wide guard and protect, they stack on each other. Or wide guard stacks into protect. So you know like you use protect once, it's hundred percent guaranteed. You use it again, it's like a third, then it's like a ninth. Well, the wide guard starts that stack. So if you wide guard and protect, it's it's a, a third, it's like one third chance you get to protect or thirty percent or whatever it is, something like that. You know what I you know what I mean. Uh, but whatever comes back in now, we're gonna be able to mind blown again. Metagross. I don't even think I want to mind blown, actually. Yes I do. The question is, does it does it protect? Does it bullet punch? What else do I have in the back? If if my, my Blacephalon goes down, I have nothing for this. I think this might be a mistake, but I think I want to protect here. No. No, I don't. No, I'm just going to follow me. Yeah, because for whatever reason, I wouldn't, I would not want this Metagross to psych up or something. So we're not gonna mind blown. We're gonna go after the Metagross. It is Mega. If it's bullet punching, we might be losing two Pokemon here, but that's not the end of the world. We do have to, however, have to get rid of this Metagross. If it's not bullet punching, this is fine. It does bullet punch. Do we survive that? I don't think so. Yeah, we don't. So, the mind blown here would have been great. Actually. But I didn't do it. Because I suck. But Metagross goes down. So, I mean, the blue here is probably going for just a grass move or something. But if not, I mean, this is not going to be good. Rock slide. Okay. That was risky. Nice move, though. Okay, so now... We gotta knock out Porygon before it becomes a thing. Because it could start recovering, and that's that's no bueno. That's no bueno. Grass disappears, which is nice. My opponent now has... Two Pokemon left, and one of them is Porygon, so... Oof. The problem is that Ga Gastrodon's the problem. My opponent has Leech Life, this is going to be tricky. Very tricky. Porygon's in range for an Iron Head to knock it out. That's not the problem. The problem is that if my opponent goes for a, a Leech Life on the Gastrodon, it's going to get 70... No, 100, 100 health back. But is that, pl is that plus 2? So if he goes for... If he attacks into extra drill and I lose extra drill, then I just lose. Yeah, so I have I have to I have to leave Gastron unprotected here. Oh, Bully protects. Okay, this is fine. I'm not sure what you're. Pl I guess you're planning to just try and recover Star. Or what? I don't know, but yeah, that's that's gone. It's a life orb extra drill. That's strong. So now now we double into the into the Bulu. because now we just win. Well, okay, cool, we win. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we just ice beam doesn't matter though cuz we've got the power go my extra drill 
Yeah, so I, I, de I definitely messed up that turn with the Blacephalon. I should have just mind blown, just assuming that I was gonna follow me and mind blown, because then I would have knocked out everything on the field. And I would have been at plus four. Or plus three. Yeah. And then it was just Porygon versus the world. So yeah, I guess there was no reason not to mind blown there. But we, you live and you learn. You live, you learn. As Alanis Mort said, would say, you live, you learn. You move on. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And uh, yeah, you blow your mind. That's the, that's the whole thing. So 1502. So we're out of the 1500s. For now. If we win this one, we'll be back where we started. Hooray. Ugh, stretch. Ugh, God. Ah, God. Ah. Ah, oh, so many noises coming from my spine. Uh, not good. Uh, here we go. So now, I'm gonna need Battle Spot to give me someone to play. We had our one battle, so the curse of this week is that we don't find anyone else, but I, I, yeah, I got to find someone else. Oh wait, we already had two battles. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Yeah, because we lost one. We lost the first one like right away. It's like Kangaskhan, so I should just I should end this right here before we get another battle. But yeah, so anyways, that's it for that up today, guys. Oh, you know what? Never mind. We're just gonna surprise bonus battle. We're doing it. Oh my god, we're gonna get destroyed real quick. Woo! Woo and here comes Stakataka. Yeah, we're boned. <laughs> it's not good. Especially if it's uh I kind of want to just do this, actually. I think it's the best way to go. I don't think it's a great way to go, but I think actually Excadrill Tyranitar here might be a thing that we can do. Might be a thing. And this is Witness Policy Bulky Bulk Tyranitar. So we'll be able to take a Moonblast from the Finning. We'll be able to take a Muddy Water. We'll be able to take a Solar Beam from the Charizard. We'll be able to take an Earthquake from the Landorus. Won't be taking it. We'll take a U-turn. We will not take a superpower. Um, we'll, I think we'll take a gyro ball from the Stakataka. Not well, but we will. Oh, Bell out the Pikachu shirt. Hello, Pokemon trainers. And there's Charizard. So pretty predictable lead. So intimidate. Landers Intimidate, okay. That tells us, it doesn't tell us if it's Scarf or not. If this was Scarf Tyranitar, it would tell us whether or not it was a Scarf Landers. Ugh, what do we got here? It's gonna be Mega Charizard. I get the feeling my opponent's gonna do some frisky shenanigans. I'm yellowing. Bonus battle Yolos for the win. My opponent's gonna Mega Evolve with Charizard. Might, they might protect, they might do some other stuff. Dude, no, 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 it, it doesn't matter. Oh, they do protect. So, is this an Earthquake? You turn. Okay. What's coming in? Well, that activates our weakness policy, which is nice, but what's coming in? Charizard protects a little bit annoying. Mega Slash, okay. I see that. I see that, bro. We'll get negligible damage on the Aegis Slash. A, A, G Slash, A, G Slash. That's another discussion we had. The Aegis Slash is going to wide guard. It's going to have wide guard. For show. For show. I think Egg Slash is going to wide guard. I think this Charizard is going to Solar Beam. I'm making, I'm making crazy calls right now. Yeah, we're making, we're making calls. 
Withdraw Charizard into Landorus. Okay. Bring in, bring in Blaseth. The fact that that was U-turn makes me think it's a choice card for Landorus. So our Tyranitar now is at neutral, but this Crunch will still hurt. Unless it's a King Shield, Aegis Slash, in which case we wasted our weakness policy. That's cool. I like that a lot, actually. That's really cool against Kangaskhan's. This will still do something. Do something. Nice. Now the question is... Is that... I, th I think it's Scarf Landorus. In which case, my opponent can just wide guard, truly. And my opponent here at this point can just wide guard Earthquake to seal the game. They know I don't have any Levitators. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh... We're just going to go for it. It don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, my opponent can just wide guard and uh, Earthquake. I can't do anything about it. King Shield. Okay, cool. So it's still going to be an Earthquake, though. And I'm going to lose Earth Power. It's Scarf Mixed Landers? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's nifty. Because you can intimidate them, and they can intimidate you, and it does not matter. I like that. That's pretty That's pretty chill, bruh. We just saw King Shield. I don't have a great way to hit this Landorus, either. I really don't. I kind of want to... Is this Aegislash just going to go for another... Toxic, King Shield... Wide Guard Shadow Ball. I'm going to double into Landorus and hopefully knock it out. Withdraw Landorus. Okay, into Charizard. Stock Ataka. Stock Ataka! Well, this Iron Head will destroy it. Ooh, it is a Wide Guard. I was right. So this play was absolutely necessary. This should knock it out, right? No. Oh, it, res oh it's, it resists you. I thought it would... So I guess Steel does resist itself, because it's Rock Steel. I thought it would be super effective. I'm just going to make... I mean... Do I think Stakataka is going to stay in? No. The thing is, Aegislash is kind of vulnerable right now. My Landers is going to come in again. Yeah, for that. But still, if Stock Attack protects, this Landers has got to take a Crunch and then another Iron Head next turn. I think I have one turn of Sand left after this. Oh, okay, never mind. That's nice. So we're making some good plays here. I, I called wide guards and stuff. We're, we're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. If we crit, we don't though. That oh, that's not good. That is, however, that's sand. That's a uh, Iron Head range. Charizard comes in. Okay, so at this point, we, we can pretty much we can sack Gastron because it's not doing diddly. Problem is, we're gonna have an intimidated Excadrill no matter what. There's not much I can do about that. My opponent here can just cycle out. Got, gotta get the sand back up, or else I have no chance of winning. But my opponent here really can just switch out Landorus again. They can just U-turn right into that Tyranitar slot. It's X. So at least we know my opponent's not going to be able to like just freely earthquake. That's cool. Okay. 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 I'm down. Earth power. I 
keep forgetting it's special. That's dangerous. This does give me an opportunity, though. We gotta Earth Power that Charizard. My opponent needs to, needs to target that Gastrodon here. My opponent might want to, might be tempted to go after Excadrill, but I actually think Gastron is the more important piece here. Because the thing is, I think if, if you Earth Power, if you attack into Gastron with your Charizard, I'm gonna survive whatever attack. I think I can survive a Dragon Claw. And get my Berry and Earth Power you back. It depends on how, how much damage this thing does. I mean, actually, I don't know. Tough Claws boosted Dragon Claw plus one? I don't know. Maybe not. But, it will take a lot of damage if it tries. Earth Power into... Is that going to do our berry? It's not. Is that into the into the Excadrill slot? No. That's a good play. But here's, so here's the question now. Because my Excadrill will outspeed this Charizard. Does the Charizard protect this turn to bait out a, 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 the protect from my Tyranitar for Earthquake? I think, I think so. I think my only play here is just double Rock Slide, honestly. I think the Charizard protects. I think it's trying to stall out a turn. I think it protects. The only thing I could think I'd do differently is try and catch uh, Aegislash on the switch in. But if I screw up, I just want the Rock Slide damage. Okay, so I was right on that. So I, my opponent here is going, they're going to protect. They're bringing this in for the wide guard. All right, I should have, I should, I should have gone after the Aegislash better. But this will still do something. Unfortunately, now the Landers does get to come back in and intimidate again. So that's not good. Okay. And that Aegislash just wide guards. So what's my play here? You Charizard, you Wide Guard, you Flare Blitz, Excadrill, right? You Wide Guard, you Flare Blitz, Excadrill, right? I think if I get rid of Aegislash, I can just Rock Slide to win the game. Right? I think so. I think my opponent here, they have to Wide Guard with Aegislash, and they have to target that Excadrill. If not, I think I just win the game. Oh, this is so intense. This is a long episode. I'm sorry, but yeah, this is intense. Please don't have Earthquake. That would be the worst case scenario. Oh, yeah, buddy. Woo, buddy. Feels good. Okay. Landers comes back in. Intimidates us. This is so hype. <laughs> so we get two real battles. That first one didn't count because we quit, it. We, we quit out of it real soon. But this is multi -bending. I like it. All right, so Intimidated Excadrill, Life Orb. I think minus one picks up Landorus. I don't know. The problem is that Landorus can just Rock Slide or, honestly, Landorus is probably gonna Superpower. I think I, I have to hope the Charizard just did the thing. Do I actually want to just protect Tyranitar? Am I going to make this call or am I going to make a safe, like a 50-50 play? I think I'm going to... I'm going to make a call. He's going to protect Charizard. He doesn't protect Charizard. It's fine though. If he if he flare blitzes Excadrill and we and we hit our rock slide, we're okay. Thunder Punch. What? What? 
Well, that critical hit worked out for us. It doesn't matter either way, because we, we, we win next turn no matter what. We still had two usable turns of Earth of uh, Sand, so we could just Earthquake both turns, like Protect, Earthquake, and the next turn Earthquake again. That was just, that was so strange. Wow, that game was hype. I'm sorry, that was a long episode, but you know what? It makes up for the short one on Wednesday, so there you go. I hope you liked it. If you did, if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for future videos. And uh, I hope to, <laughs> hope to see you back uh, next week for another episode of Ladder, another week of Ladder Up. Hopefully, better stuff for the team. I like Bocephalon. I want to try and play around it. It's just fun. It's cool. It's like crazy. And that was that was pretty hype. Um, yeah. So the farther I get into the game, the better stuff we can get. I'm working on it. I. It, I trust me, I'm working on it. Until then, hope hope you guys have a great weekend. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope that you got some good Black Friday deals. Or if you're not into the whole commercialism kind of thing, I hope you spent time with family and enjoyed it. And uh, or whatever your thing is. Um, so, anyways, hope to see you back next time for another episode of Ladder Up.